Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday here. 18th of August. Real grindy, slow market. Kind of kind of annoying, but it is going where where it needs to go, where we want it to go. Dollar lower. We um we have Euro approaching the year's highs here. Dollar Swiss right on the lows. Year high in Euro is uh, 16, 119, 16. Dollar Swiss 90, 50. Dancing around here. Looks like that's going to break. Dollar CAD through 131.90. Um, we're going to keep this short and sweet because we have some risk on here. But. Um, Let's just see if we can get an hourly close through these levels uh, and then a four hourly close and then a daily close. Uh, I think, you know, a daily close above 119 or an, even an hourly close above 119.16. We're going to touch 120. There'll be some derivatives up there, some protection the first time. But eventually that cherry is going to get popped. Um, and we roll forward right and you might even see 121 122 quite quickly so got to keep a close eye on all of this i think short dollars is the way this morning london comes in 34 minutes but oftentimes these kind of trades go pre london the laggard of the group cable uh, still might pay 42 was the was the bingo high on friday through 42, we have 85, and then 132, the figure, all interesting levels. Um, you know, you can start to get long through 42, add through 85, add through the figure. Uh, that seems like uh, an interesting way to approach cable. Gold, we have resistance at uh, 2028, which was the, um, which was the breakdown sort of like waterfall breakdown point up here obviously everyone's piling back into gold because of Buffett and, and weak dollar so careful fading this um, I'll have to see how what comes what comes with gold but another percent in a ch in change higher there will be resistance 2028 yes just dull dull as dishwater grinding higher 87 the high Back down to, I don't know, 76. Here we are at 81. Um, it's bid, right? We're eventually going to take out 3,400. Whether we can, um, whether we can survive up there, the air looks pretty thin to me. But certainly, don't want to be short right now. It's just grindy bid higher. Be patient. If you can't stomach being long, then don't trade it. Trade something else. Um, because it is bid. There's no doubt about that right now. Bitcoin also bid. Bang. Uh, up to uh, 12.5. Now back to 12.2. Uh, Bitcoin looks pretty robust on its way to all-time highs, which I believe were like 20 grand or something. What was that? Uh, that was 13. That was, yeah. About twenty thousand. Uh, Bitcoin looks looks pretty robust. Keep in mind, trade trade Bitcoin not like a currency. Trade it. Trade it like a stock. Um, you know, trade it like Microsoft stock or or Google or whatever stocks you like. ZB, uh, we're in a little sideways motion here. We're still short. Um, we will resell on on blips higher. Um, but now we're just expecting some sideways consolidation before the next move down. BTPs, we're getting into that resale area. Um, this 148, 148 area. Um, same thing with all fixed income. We think eventually there's going to be some sort of inflation scare. scare. It could be supply driven. Um, even though like we're worried about the demand side, because of cash flow reasons, weirdly we think that there's going to be some sub supply side problems, um, which are going to create higher prices and create inflation. And anyway, that's our sort of fixed income story. 
but mainly we're just trading price um, and when Italian yields get below 1% we uh, we tend to sell not not a ton out there more out there for you guys I got a lot going on here um, so I'm gonna cut this short and sweet we like short dollars today short dollar Swiss long euros cable we're on the fence about um, gold looks like it's going to grind higher some more we don't really like buying gold up here um, we will be watching at 2028 for the resistance stocks are bid bonds were selling rallies good luck out there people talk to you tomorrow